Welcome back, welcome back fam. This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you're having an amazing, wonderful day. Taking care of yourself, loving yourself, learning more about yourself, growing through this process of self-discovery, knowledge of self, realizing like, hey, we all been lied to on the mass level, right? So what in the hell do we do about it, right? We got to unlearn all the BS, all the lies, and relearn our own personal truth that works best for you. Not just for me, but for you, okay? And by now, you should be have that intent, right, to be the cause in your life instead of waiting for the effect to happen because you're going to create your own look instead of waiting for look. You're going to create your own look, right, by, you know, with proper intent, having goals, having a plan, and most importantly, take action. And, and don't be afraid to make mistakes, right, because, you know, 20% of the seeds that you plant, right, they gonna they got to bear some kind of fruit. And you're going to use the, those as your kind of like your gaze, right, and that way you can make some kind of little, you know, corrections, some tweaks and see what really works best for you so you can find your sweet spot and get things moving in your life right but also as you grow through this process on your hero's journey or your spiritual path whatever you want to call it right most importantly if you don't stay to the end shame on you right but the biggest takeaway learn these seven hermetic principles daily is going to add some balance to your life you're going to have greater knowledge of self understanding right a little overstanding than you have now right but most importantly you're going to know like, hey, there's different layers to you than what you've been told. And it's all about remembering. Right. I'm here to remind you of your greatness. I'm sharing my ups and downs with you because I, I, I've been through a lot of shit. Right. But I'm here, you know, cause I love myself enough. But, and I know you're a reflection of me in a different time and space. And I know 20 percent of the people that listen to these presentations, they really need this message right about now. And I'm here to do my my purpose and mission part of it. Right. Just, you know, sharing these presentations here. But mine's on a grander stage. However, it's all about you. This is about you. It's not about me. OK, so you don't hear me talking about Chris all the time. It's all about you. These presentations are for you. And OK, but as you grow through your own process of knowledge yourself, please learn more about your name. Your name is your nature, your life path number. Everything is important, right? It's all about leaving no stone on turning your life and use these seven hermetic principles to skip some levels. However, comma, right? You're going to still grow through your own personal transformation and atonement process. And each and every day, your main intent, as soon as you open your eyes, like, what can I learn today that's going to give me a return on, on my investment that, you know, that I didn't know about myself? And how can I help somebody else, else on their path, right, to remember, right? Because we're all interconnected. So it's time to do your job, okay? And I'm here to remind you, like, hey, they lied to you. And it's now that you know better, you're going to do better, right? Because you're going to be the cause in your life instead of waiting for the effect to happen. So today, guys, it's all about aura, your electromagnetic energy signature, right? So, it, and again, be sure to click that like subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate you. And remember, guys, our purpose and mission require to learn a whole bunch of life lessons and to gain that experience and knowledge for our soul's growth. So, you know, it's OK. Well, you've been lied to. You know, you've been taught to do the same thing over and over again. And, you know, somehow, some way the universe is going to magically line things up. You know, no, it doesn't work that way. You have to do different things to get new results. OK, so something about your routine, your schedule, the information that you, you know, you, you've been learning, you know, each and every day throughout your life. It's kind of like a lower level, kind of like kindergarten. Right. Compared to what the people that actually rules everything, so-called rule everything temporarily they use against us okay so now as you gain in all this new information it's going to build these brain cells right and and as you grow through this process you need to share your knowledge and wisdom with people there's a cause and effect with that too with sharing okay but trust your own intuition don't believe nothing i'm sharing with you it's all about you trusting your own intuition your own inner voice and remember Use your energy to your greater good because your thoughts, belief, words, emotion, actions always going to equal your reality and your results. Not your job. Your job is not your purpose. Your purpose is to remember who you are and, and what you came here to do on the planet at this time to uplift the overall energy, frequency, and vibration of the planet. That's part of your purpose, okay? So remember, your thoughts, belief, words, emotion, action are always going to equal your reality and your results. Keep, please keep your money in check during this time frame. Read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If, if you don't like to read, they have audio books. But don't, you know, do not be ignorant to, you know, not learning new things, okay? 
to be ignorant means to ignore. Okay, so please, you, you have no excuse not to learn something. So if you, you're not a great reader, it's okay. Okay, I've been there too. All right, but you have no excuse. People have, you know, invested time and energy to like read books for you. So even if you're on the go, you can have these books playing and, you know, these audio books playing in the background and your brain can, is recording all these different things each and every day. So now that you know, you can control the material that you put in your brain, information, the different frequencies, music, audio books, visual aids, you name it. So let me not get too far off track. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited but because I want to share with you guys, you know, my takeaways when it deals with, you know, the aura, your your own personal electromagnetic energy signature. OK, and remember, guys, so, you know, the difference between different manifestations of matter, energy, mind and even spirit results largely from varying rates of vibration. OK, so what does that mean? The higher the higher the vibration, the higher the position in the scale. OK, the three initials, the cabalion. So it's time to you for you for each and every one of us. Right. To remember who we are, our purpose and mission. Unlock the, the universe within you, your own universe. That's what you mean. OK, your own universe. And today, guys. So with this quote here, let's do a, a quick walkthrough and a recap. Remember, everything is connected. Right. And what's going on right now? Why, you know, everybody's so eager to learn, you know, new information because the overall Kundalini energy is rising all over the planet. Plus within you as above, so below as within, so without, you know, as the universe, so the soul. Right. So, you know, everything's connected, as you can see. So as the earth is, is you know, rising, raising up, you know, and it's this energy, frequency and vibration, you know, Mother Nature said, you know, Mother Universe said enough is enough. So everybody, you know, really tapping into that heart chakra. If you can't, you know, really tap into that heart chakra, you really you're not going to have an open mind. And what it's going to do is going to shut you down and you're going to repeat. You're going to start all over again. OK, that's the best way I can sum that up. OK, but I know you don't want to do that. So it's time for everybody. You know, every, everything in nature, all I'm saying, everything in nature has to grow. Even you. OK, you're not separate from nature. They taught you you were right, but you're not. So with that being said, let's get into it. I'm gonna get, Let's talk about the aura, you know, the overview of the aura. I'll give you my takeaways and get you guys out of here. OK, so with that being said, everything is connected. So with the different, you know, very variations of vibration you know a quick snapshot here we got plasma what is that you know at the very high temperature of stars because basically we, we're stardust okay you know so atoms and their electrons the mixture of electrons and nuclei right that results in the plasma state of matter all right dark matter energy plasma energy you got the gas state right so we going down we coming down right we came down right to have this human experience so we got the gas state you got the molecules that make up the gas fly in all directions at great speeds they are so far apart that the the, the attractive forces between them are insignificant right then we got the liquid phase the molecules that make up the liquid flow easily around one another they are they are kept from flying apart by attractive force between them liquids assume the same shape as their container so if you, you know when you put water in a glass or a bottle, it's gonna you know assume that shape, right? It's gonna take that shape. And lastly, we have this human avatar, right? The solid phase. So with that being said, guys, you know the solid phase, the molecules that make up the solids are arranged in a regular repeating patterns. They are held firmly in a in place, but can you know but can vibrate within a limited area. That's why I say we live in a realm of nothing more than energy, frequency, and vibration. So a quick takeaway I do want to add because I want to give you guys some some gems that really help you increase your vibration as you grow through this process of learning. Because you know it's quite a bit of information. However, you know when you first got on your job, did you know everything? No. So you know repetition is the mother of all skill. So we build this muscle through repetition. That's why you hear me say pretty much the same thing over and over again but i remix it right that's what it's all about but all i'm saying is look you know at nighttime turn off your tv sets right you know go on youtube or something you know and type in four three two hertz or five two eight hertz you know frequency healing frequencies and let this play at night turn off your tv anything you got playing at night turn that off and let these healing frequencies play and i promise you after 30 60 90 days 180 days you name it right but after, at least about 30 to 90 days guys 
you know, I just want to give it time to marinate in your subconscious. These frequencies will help you elevate your overall frequency and vibration. This is a quick remedy, okay? So don't believe none of them. You know, I'm telling you, test things out. All right. Do your own research. That's what it's all about. See what works for you. I know what works for me and my family. OK. And we use this. So let's talk about the aura and I'm going to get you guys out of here. OK. So when it comes to aura, just remember, guys, you know, everything is energy, frequency and vibration. So main intent, raise your vibration to access better opportunities and resources. Because remember, you know, as you know, you got levels of consciousness, you got your vibration with your chakra energies, everything is connected, okay? I want to, you know, line all this stuff up for you, okay? So, you know, again, raise your vibration to access better opportunities and resources, okay? Because, like, as you grow into your heart chakra, if you're not there already, you know, the right people, places, and things will, you know, you know, support your intent and where you know where you're growing right now on your path and you'll know that the universe is lining things up just for you okay i've seen it my wife's seen it you know a lot of people in my family seen it i pointed out to people how the universe worked you know and they look at me they had these crazy look like damn how do you know this right but i'm you know this too i'm here to remind you that you do know this that's happened to your own intuition your own inner voice it'll it'll let you know but not to getting too far off track just remember everything you know every living thing has an aura Every particle, atom, and cell is surrounded by an energy field or a force, right? You know, which is known as an aura. The aura extends approximately like an arm's length around the entire body. It has a series of layers, right? As you can see here. And this is a torus field of energy. That's why I told you before, you guys are magnetic, okay? Your thoughts, words, beliefs, words, emotions, and actions, these are your commands from your magnetic field, Okay, and just a quick snapshot, you have a sick person's aura. You see how static it is, right? You have a healthy person's aura, right? But like a vagina, right? But at the end of the day, or a fish, right? We are, you know, just fish you know, like fishing you know, like fish out of water pretty much in in a in an ocean of energy, you know, all jokes aside. But this is an aura of a healthy person, okay? Everything is even. This person is, you know, has a uneven, you know, vibration. All right. And a lot of you guys that are clairvoyant, you guys can see these aura fields around people. OK. All right. <laughs> so with that being said, let's dive deep into this and I'm going to get you guys out of here. So these are my takeaway takeaways when it comes to the aura. OK. So the aura, again, is going to stand pretty much, you know, arms lifts around the whole body and aura has a series of layers. Right. So first, let's start with the theory body. The theory body here, you know, based in the root chakra area. Right. The ethereal body is the first layer. It has the same structure as the physical body, including all the anatomical parts and organs. The web-like structure of the ethereal body is in constant motion, and to the clairvoyant vision, it sparks of bluish white white light moves along, you know, its energy lines throughout the entire physical body, clairvoyant, all right? It also extends from the, you know, one quarter of an inch to two inches from the physical body, all right? Next, we have the emotional body, right? The emotional body is where? That's in the, what, sacral chakra, right? So, the emotional body is that second layer and it is associated with feelings, right? Its structure is more, you know, fluid than the etheric and it does not duplicate the physical but instead roughly flows or follows the outline of the physical body. It appears to be colored clouds of fine substance in kind of like a, a continual fluid motion and it extends one inch to three inches from the physical body. Next, we have the, the mental body, which is the third the third layer of the aura, okay? And this is what? Your sacral chakra, right? And so with this area, this third layer, layer it extends beyond the emotional body and it composed of still finer substances, right? All, all of which are associated with thought and mental processes, Right. So this this body usually appears as a bright yellow light radiating about, you know, head to shoulders and extended around the whole body. It extends three to eight inches from the physical body. So next we have the astral body. Right. The astral body is where this is in the heart chakra. Right now it is morphous. So what does that mean? It, it really doesn't have a, a true shape, so to speak. OK, and it is composed of clouds of color more beautiful than those of the emotional body and the astral astral body usually has the same set of colors as the emotional body. But they are mostly infused with like 
the the rose color of love now this body extends you know from six to twelve inches from the physical body the next next we have the theory temp template body the fifth layer okay so what is this this is like in the throat chakra right so with that being said it's called that because it can it contains all the forms that exist on the physical plane in a blueprint form so in other words it looks rather like a negative on a photograph it is the blueprint of per perfect form and for the etheric layer to take and extend from you know one and yeah, like one and a half to two feet from the physical body. Next, we have the, the celestial body, right? This is in your third eye area, right? This is, the celestial body is the sixth layer of the aura, and it is the emotional level of the spiritual plane. Now, it's the level through which we experience, you know, spiritual ecstasy, so to speak. All right. And we all been there where we feel like, you know, we can really connect it. And it can be reached through deep meditation and extends like two, like two and a half feet from the physical body you know so to speak so you know this chakra area or this you know this you know aura field area here the celestial body really you know really connects you with the spiritual ecstasy okay next we have the uh catheric body okay so with this body here this deal with what your crown chakra right so this is the, the catheric body or the causal body is the seventh layer this is the mental level of the spiritual plane now, when we bring our consciousness to this level, we know we are at one with the creator, which is within us. There is nobody outside of us. OK, they teach us that. But the spirit lives within. What has your heart beating? What tells you to breathe? Right. You know, so you got to really understand what's going on here. And people are really playing games with you. But this really extends from, you know, two and a half to three three and a half feet from the physical body so at the end of the day guys the aura is an energy field that surrounds all living beings and is essential to life okay so with that being said guys remember everything is connected as above so below as within so without as the universe so the soul okay and just a quick recap you know Many of you guys, you, you clairvoyants, you'll be able to see people or feel and you can for, use this as a tool to help people in your healing practices. OK, and, and let, especially when they're out of alignment. OK, and you can use these different healing methods or methodologies, right? Modalities to help you further assist you in your practice. OK, but these have been my takeaways about the aura your electromagnetic energy signature okay and remember guys our purpose and mission require to learn a whole bunch of life lesson to gain experience and not if our soul grow it's never too late to start over unlearn all the lies and relearn your own personal truth and as you grow through this process of self-discovery knowledge itself self-realization always trust your own intuition and share your knowledge and wisdom with people and to you know remember you are magnetic you are more than what you've been told. I'm here to remind you of your greatness. So now that you know better, you're going to do better. So use your thoughts, believe words, emotions, and actions for your rise so you can rise up to your power. Okay? Put your crown on and walk your walk and talk your talk. All right? But at this present time, keep your money in check. All right? You got to learn about money. What is money? Even though money is not real, it is a tool. All right? Use, these, use it as a tool to empower yourself and to help other people. That's how you play the game, okay? But this is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. Be sure to click that like, subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate you. In our next presentation series, guys, we'll be diving deep into these universal spiritual laws so we can have a greater understanding and somewhat of overstanding, okay? Once you grow through, you know, with the repetition and doing it over and over again, just like your ABCs and learning your, a new position at your job, you will have that understanding and overstanding, you know, about you know how things really work in your life not my life so you can have that balance it's all about balance okay and that's why i'm sharing this message with you today because i know there's one person out there in this ginormous you know universe that really needs to hear this message but i love you guys take care of yourself this is chris again stay grateful and focus fam peace